Amen. Uh, Lighthouse Baptist Church, appreciate you being here. A lot of our older members are back, and uh, some of our um, some of our young adults, young married adults, uh, are back with us. So we appreciate you being here. Amen. And ain't it wonderful to have the enlighteners here today? Amen. 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 Give them a big hand. Amen. All the way from Annapolis. Amen. So I know they're going to bless your heart here in a little while. So. Uh, let me just say that uh, this church was founded in 1966, amen? So over 57 years, this church has been here uh, winning souls for Jesus, amen? Give the Lord a hand for us for that. Amen. And then uh, the preacher's going to give you a little more information about Lighthouse, how long uh, Lighthouse has been going and how long they've been here. So I'll let him tell that, but... Uh, we got a, a very special uh, guest preaching today, um, our former pastor, preacher Clint Neeford, amen, so you get a little hand praise there, amen. I got a little stage. He's still, uh, he's still on fire for God, amen. And I told him, I said, brother, I said, I'll step aside, the Lord puts a message on your heart, I'll step aside and the pulpit's yours, amen. So then I thank God for all our uh, preachers, uh, preacher Slats, uh, brother Roger, and um, uh, Brother Howard, he's one of our new members, uh, Howard and Kathy. He's one of our new preachers, so uh, give the Lord a hand praise right there. Amen. 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 You know we're proud that God still calling him to preach. Amen. I'm glad God's still saving. Amen. And uh, thank you for visiting with us. We've got some first-time visitors uh, this morning. And uh, just hang on. They got the air kicked up. Amen. So... Um, just keep on fanning, amen. That's going to keep me cool for a while, amen. Praise the Lord. I'll get it too. So uh, thank you for being here. Thank you, visitors, for being here. And uh, uh, be praying about, um, in a little while, we'll have offering. You pray about what God would have you to give um, to this ministry, amen. This is our local uh, assembly, and uh, we need, I mean, I know we need to support it, amen. And we need to give uh, to the work of Christ. You know, the Bible says that he says, I love a cheerful giver. I want to read a passage of Scripture to you in Mark chapter 5, and then we're going to turn it over to Brother Roger. Amen. Mark chapter 5 and verses 19. This was a uh, demonic person that Jesus met uh, there in the garden. And uh, this man was, uh, no man could tame him. Uh, how many of you know the devil will drive you crazy? Amen. But I'm so thankful that he met Jesus. Amen. And when he met Jesus, the Bible says that he was clothed and he was sitting at the feet of Jesus. Amen. God worked a great miracle in his life. But Jesus gave him a command in Mark 5 and verse 19. And how be it Jesus suffered him not. But he said unto him, he said, Go home to thy friends and tell them, how great things the Lord hath done for thee. Amen. And he and hath had compassion on thee. Amen. How many of you know the Lord's had compassion on us? Amen. And that's the great commission. That's what we should do here at Lighthouse Baptist Church is go and tell the great things that God has done for us. Amen. Let's stand and uh, let's go to God in prayer. Remain standing and we'll have a congregation after this. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we love you today, and Lord, we're just so excited, uh, Lord, to be able to come, and uh, Father, on this uh, 2023, uh, Lord, just to celebrate the homecoming. Uh, Lord, for many years, Father, this church has been here, and Father, the preaching of the Word of God has came across this pulpit, and Father, we thank you for all those souls that, Father, have came to know you as personal Savior. We thank you for that. Lord, many sitting right here in this place today, Father, they walk this very aisle and ask Jesus into their heart. They were baptized in this pool up here. Father, we just want to thank you. And God, we just want to praise you. And Lord, we thank you for even those last year, and God, this year that's been saved, and God being baptized, and we thank you that, Lord, you're still working. And God, I mean, I mean, know that the Bible says that you have a plan for us. And Lord, I'm so thankful for that plan. Father, I pray, would you bless each thing that goes on this day. Father, the singing, Lord, the preaching of your word, uh, Father, the dinner later on. And Lord, I just pray, may we give you honor and glory and praise. And God, most of all, thank you for our visitors that's here today. And God, most of all, if there's someone, Father, here today that does not know 
the precious Lamb of God. I pray that this will be the day they will come and have a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, and Lord, we love you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, remain standing. Good morning. It's good to be back in the house. Lord, yes, welcome to Lighthouse Baptist Church. Amen. You, Jesus. Sometimes you get a little scattered and then, uh, you know, uh, can't find things. That's all right. Amen. God just says, come and worship me. Don't worry Amen. about things Let's like that. that. Amen. Amen. And, uh, but I know it kind of reflects on me a little bit, and I am a leader of the church. I apologize for that. Amen. But, uh, we're just here to celebrate God. Amen. Amen. That's what yes, we are. Let's get us a hymn on turn to page 160. We'll sing both verses, page 160.
Amen, Brother Roger. Amen. Let me just say something. I'll get a mic here. Amen. Hey, Brother Roger, how you doing today? That's a very powerful, that's a very powerful song right there. It is. it is well with my soul. Amen. Roger, what I'd like for y'all to do is sing that again. Amen. And think about the words uh, to this song. How many of you know that we go through trials and tribulations and we go through things? But if we have Jesus, how many of you know it's well with our soul? It's well. Maybe, maybe the doctor has a bad diagnosis. Amen. I know he's the great physician. And we read in Jeremiah that's, that he says that he has a plan for us. Amen. So I want them to sing that song again. Amen. And uh, listen to the words and let it minister. And just worship the Lord. Amen. Amen. Is it well with your soul? Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Bless him, Lord. Amen.
Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I ain't got a thing to worry about. Amen. If I drop dead right now, Dale, I'm going to heaven. Amen. Amen. I'm going to see Jesus and you're going to have to be right in the heaven. Amen. 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 Think about it. That's my perfect peace. Amen. Amen. If you're sitting out here, out here this morning and you think you've gone too far as a born-again Christian and you've messed up, honey, just turn around. It is a little overwhelming. Amen. Amen. His right. grace is everlasting. Amen. Yes. We're in love with an everlasting love. Amen. Yes, we are. Amen. Maybe you're here this morning and you don't know Christ as your Savior. Yeah. Let me tell you something. For God so loved the world that yes. He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. Amen. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world, but the world through Him might be saved. Be saved. Amen. The one who has the right to condemn us all does not, but just loves us. Amen. Amazing grace that we stand. Amen. Amen. Let's Praise all stand, God. turn around, shake some of my hands, and welcome everybody this morning. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.
call me?
some scripture came to my mind. And Frankie was going through all the things she was going through for the last two years. God gave me a verse. That will keep him perfect peace. Yes. His mind is stayed on thee. Amen. That's right. And somewhere in Isaiah, I never can remember references, but I remember that in Jeremiah 11, 29, it talks about, mm -hmm. I mean, 29, 11, it talks about the plans and the thoughts that God has toward us. Amen. Yes. And he wants to give us a future, and he wants to give us, you know, he wants to give us good things. And uh, I was thinking about that this morning while they were singing that song about the, the perfect peace. Amen. And the other day, uh, you know, Preacher Clinton, he's got these ways of just things to stay with you that he says, right? So the other day we were uh, in our church and they had this German missionary come. And he was from Germany. And Preacher Clinton said that, uh, you know, pastors in Germany are called German shepherds. <laughs> and the whole time that missionary was talking, all I could think about was that German shepherd. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't tell him that. I never did get to tell him that, but I kept thinking, yeah, he's a pastor in Germany, so he's a German shepherd. <laughs> I'm telling you, know, y'all are just so special to us. We love y'all so much. And uh, we wear these little outfits a lot because uh, these little outfits y'all got us um, for our 25th anniversary. We just celebrated our 49th last March. We got one more to go, y'all. We got Jubilee year is next year. Amen. And I am looking forward to it because right. um, not many people can say that they've sung for God for 50 years. Yeah, right. And they've stayed with it and they haven't changed. A lot of people in our ministry have changed and they've gone on to be with the Lord, but we're still here. We're still singing. We're still doing the same thing we did almost 50 years ago. Amen. So we got some history too. Our, our couple with us, I think y'all already know Junior and Irene Smith, and um, they're helping us out. They were helping us for a while, and God took them away for a while, and God put us all back together. God has a way if you just if you just wait on God. You know, sometimes we get ahead, we get behind. We gotta wait mm -hmm. on God. Yes, and Preacher Barry, I'm glad that you're here, and, and I'm glad you're uh, our pastor. I'm glad you're, and uh, we got we got to pray for him because he's got a lot on him, and uh, y'all need to pray for him. Um, and anytime you need us, if we can we can do it, we'll drop whatever we're doing. We'll come Amen. and we'll we'll help you. So if you ever forget to call singers, if we're not busy, you just call us and we'll be here. You might have to come get us somebody, but, you know, because we can't drive, but we'll, we'll be here. Amen. And then God, God, God bless y'all. We're going to try our best to be a blessing, y'all. Amen. Blessing. <laughs>
come right now in the name of Jesus Christ. On the count of three, let's say Jesus. Real loud. That rascal needs to get on out of here. The devil, amen. 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 And we want to worship God, amen. 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 Alright, on the count of three. One, two, three. Jesus! One more time. One, two, three. Jesus! Amen. God can do that, amen. The devil, you know, whenever you say Jesus to him, I don't know about y'all, but we got three little chihuahuas. And when they do something wrong, they know it. And they tuck their little tails between their legs, and here they go slinking off because they know they got messed up. And that's exactly what the devil does. That's what the devil does. When we say Jesus to him, yep. he just tucks his tail between his legs and he that's just right. slinks on off because he can't stand that name and he can't stand amen. that word. That's right. Right. So when you get in trouble, all you got to do is say Jesus. Yep. And he's out of here. Yeah, well, them chihuahuas, right. they, they have to flee. They think we're talking about fleas. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is another Rogers song. Amen. I love to sing about my home. Amen. Amen. Everybody got home coming with us.
problems, and I really can't take the time to tell you, but I'm in a lot of pain, my shoulders and my, and everything, and every time I turn over in bed, I go, oh, every time I get up, oh, you know what I mean? Yep. And the doctor can't do no surgery, he don't want to. He's afraid I won't come out of it, as far as the uh, physical, uh, I don't know what he's afraid of, to be honest with you. But um, anyway, I don't, I'm not afraid, but he's not, I hope he knows Jesus right. me. Because no matter which way the cookie crumbles, we got a home to go to. We're so glad of that. And I, and I belong to the Lord calls me home. These dresses are 30 some years old, and I'm going on 66, so which one's older, amen? <laughs> They're still in good shape. We take yes. care of our clothes, and we appreciate them buying them for so many years ago. And uh, we'll soon be in our 50th year. Oh my goodness! And God, 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 God's been good. Just goes to show you, ladies, you don't have to have a new dress every week. <laughs> They'll last you 20. Well, these look, we got these on our 25th anniversary, so this is like 49 years. So we've had them 24 years. They still look good, don't they? Amen. So, you don't have to find your dress anymore. Just take care of the ones you got. Okay. <laughs> it's out of your hands. You've done all you can do. You've given God the problem. It's no longer up to you. Yeah, yeah. You prayed the prayer of faith. Now you're standing on while you're waiting for the answer, he has a question for you. God. And I've seen God answer some prayers that 
Yeah. There was nobody that had been for God with me. Amen. I don't know what your problem is today. I have no idea what you're going through. But I'm going to tell you something. There's a God who knows. Amen. And there's a God, and I don't care what the doctors or the bankers or That's whoever right. said, God can change it. Amen. God can change it. Yeah. Because yes. he knows the end from the beginning. He's got a plan for your life. He does. He does. And all you got to do is just submit yourself to that plan. Amen. And say, God, you know more than I do about it. So you take care of it. And you right. give it to him and he'll take it. Yes. And when he takes it, you just let him have it. Right. And he's got a plan. Amen. You just got to let him. Let him have your life. And then you got to follow what he says. Yes. But there's nothing too hard for the Lord. Nothing. That's right. <laughs> said, I don't think she needs to go to the nursing home. And so I went to the doctor. I got a new doctor. And I went to the doctor and I said, do you think I have dementia? She said, I most certainly do not. Now, do y'all think I have dementia? No. Hey, say it again. No. Amen. And I, I don't have dementia. I'm so I don't even know what it is. So how would I know whether I have it or not? She <laughs> She went through what's called a thyroid storm. And for two years, Frankie was not the person that she is now. And y'all saw her during that time. Y'all saw some of the things. 
And all these people were trying to tell me, you know, you, you need to put her, you, you, she's never going to get any better. She's never going to get any better. And I, you know, they're really stressing me out. So I just got to praying and fasting. And I asked God, and God said, bring her home. So I went and got her. They called DSS on me, y'all, but they didn't even come visit my house. Because I told them, I said, I've got three dogs that call come running out. She's going to get bit. Surprise <laughs> of your life. Amen. But God has brought her out of that. We found out what was wrong with her. Maybe. They started on medication that's working for her. Thank you, Jesus. The doctor said if I'd have put her in assisted living like those, all those people was telling me to, in two weeks she wouldn't have been here. But she had about that much time left. And her body was in shock from the thyroid storm that she was in. But see, that's what I'm trying to tell you. I don't know what your problem is. There might be somebody carrying a heavy burden. Yeah. And they might be telling you something that you don't want to believe. Mm -hmm. Just trust God. I'm telling you, you can take that leap of faith. Just trust Amen. Him. That's right. He's, gonna, he's never going to steer you wrong. Even when all the voices in the world are telling you, do this, do this, do this, there's a still, small voice. Yes, yes. Just let those voices go and Spirit. listen Amen. for that still small voice. It's hard to hear it in this world because there's a lot of big, loud, booming yeah. voices that yeah. boom at us. But you got to listen real close and you got to listen on your face. Yeah. you got to listen in your heart. You can't, you can't get on your knees because I can't get down on my knees anymore. But I can listen to God's voice in my heart. Right. And I get along by myself and when I'm fasting and praying, I listen to that voice. And I get that voice and I get that mind to God and when I get through getting that and I know what he said, then I don't care what nobody else says. I'm on that path and I will follow it. Amen. And I'm glad that I listened to God and I didn't listen to all those other voices. Amen. Because so I'm just glad God, God knows how to take care of everything. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Right in the middle of their, your situation, here's Jesus.
Jesus come back on and pick out all these songs. Mm -hmm. I didn't have nothing to do with it. Let me tell you where we started at. 
when we was in the fish house building, I got a call one day and they said they had some, had some auditorium seats. Yeah, that's the ones that hook together. They sort of go, well, they said we could have them. So we went to get them and they was upstairs. What about me and Jody Heron? Mm. And we come down in stick and it might kill them. But they were free, that's for me. Yeah. And then we got the pulpit. And my house baby sure if I'm gonna break the news to you. That pulpit come out of an old holiness church. And it's mine. <laughs> If I leave this church, y'all gonna have to get you another. <laughs> that, that old preacher gave it to me. I don't know what I'll do with it. <laughs> Preach behind it already. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Bless you, Lord. Yeah. So we got in our church people that did not come from a split. They come from several people that wanted a church in the Middleport area. So, I was listening to the trade post one morning, and we didn't have a sound system in our church. And this man come on there and said he had a sound system for $400, which was a good price. I got down and told him my story, and he gave it to us. Amen. Amen. Praise God. We had a church play at the very first one, and six kids in that play. Four of them mine. God's come a long way. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Sir, I believe that's about all I need to say about that. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You got your Bibles. Amen. Yes, turn over with me to the book of Luke. Book of Luke. Let's try the fourth chapter. Amen. Verse number 22. I want to tell you something this morning. I want you to use your mind this morning. I want to tell you a story. I want you to open up and see the story in your mind. Four of Luke. Verse 22. Amen. Bless you, Lord. And when all bore him witness and wondered at the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth. And they said, Is not this Joseph's son? Father, yeah. I praise you. Yes, God. You're so good to us. Yes, yes thank you, Jesus. I love you this morning. You've been so good to me. You've got me through this whole world. I'm not a millionaire, but I tell you what, Lord. I serve a risen Savior. Yes, yes, God. Thank that owns a thousand cattle on a thousand heads. Yes. I love you, Lord. Save that soul closer to hell. Yes. Work on their heart right now. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Jesus was just now starting his ministry. And he's coming up against a lot of stuff. People that are demon possessed. People that are blind. People that can't talk. People, I want you to say something. Yes. Jesus is not Joseph's son. Nope. Mm -hmm. That's right. But he grew up there at the carpenter shop. And I thank God for Joseph. Yeah. I believe he was a good dad. Yeah. And we see people think, call him Joseph's son. I believe before Jesus went out in his ministry, I believe he went back to the carpenter shop. I really do. Mm -hmm. And as you went back to the carpenter shop, probably 
the door squeaked when he opened it. Big heavy door. And he closed the shop <laughs> door and he was silent. Mm -hmm. I believe he walked across sawdust on the floor. I believe he's seen a place where him and other kids played in the dirt. And I began to wonder if he had come to say goodbye. I got you to understand, you got to understand this before you see this. Bless you. Jesus knew everything, he's known everything. Yeah. yeah. So he knew the cross was coming. Right. We was a little boy and a little baby. And I wonder when he was in that carpenter shop looking around, if you begin to think about the pain. Mm -hmm. Yep. He's going to suffer. I wonder if he thought about the little children that spit on him on the way up the hills of the cross. I wonder if he thought about all the blind people and deaf people and all the people that were possessed with demons, mm -hmm. he would be there to help. And listen, he was just as much human as he was God. Amen. He got tired. Yeah. Wonder when he began to think if he really wanted to stay sometimes. Mm. He was human. Yeah, think about it. And if he was human, he liked the things we like. Yeah. One last look. Now, perhaps he mm -hmm. heard the people talk while he was there. What they say? Good job, Jesus. Joseph. Jesus, come to dinner. Mm -hmm. Take a break. I tell you what, sir, if you leave that piece here, I'll, I'll get Jesus to finish it for you. Yeah. He heard things in his head, I believe, that only God can do. Yeah. Was his heart torn? I think it was. It had to be, yeah. This was a place of peace. <clears throat> there wasn't a horror coming into the corporate shop as far as the dealing with people like he's going to have to from that then on. <coughs> you think he might have wanted to stay? Yeah, very well could have, yeah. I think he thought that it maybe I could stay, maybe have a family, because mm -hmm. he loved children. Yeah. And I could be a good leader in the church. And every time those thoughts probably come through his head, he would say to himself, I believe. I got people that need me the way I am now. That's right. I got people that are waiting on me. I got blind people healed. I've got deaf people healed. I've got people that mm -hmm. need their life straightened out. And then to top it all off, he said, Clint Neifer, you're going to get saved. Yeah, oh, man, that's right. Man. On February the 5th, 1979. Amen. And I will call him to preach. Yeah. yeah. When I call him to preach, he's going to go. Yeah. Yes. Amen. And he needs me to be there. Yeah. I've never stepped in a pulpit that God wasn't there first. Right. Amen. He's right. always there except us to use him. That's right. Whether you teach in Sunday school or preaching or Sitting on a pew. He's waiting on you to make a move. Amen, that's right. 
He already knows what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. But he gives you the opportunity to do it. Yes, he does. Thousands of years. They didn't know I was coming. Amen. Thank God he, he didn't stay. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. He learned in that shop what the true meaning of the plumb line was. You know what that is? It's a weight with a line on it. Mm -hmm. And you can put it upside a board and see if it's crooked or not. Hey, he made that comment in the Bible mm -hmm. about the plumb line because he's putting it up against me. Yeah, I love it. See how I come up straight or not. I thank God for the plumb line. Amen. Amen. That's right. You can see the tools hanging on the wall mm -hmm. that he used when he was a carpenter. He remembers playing with the kids. He remembers brother and sister. Mm -hmm. I believe Mary, Jesus was human. Yeah. I wish he had to get on to him every now and then. And I believe Mary would say, boys, straighten up. Mm -hmm. Why can't you be more like Jesus? <laughs> I believe when they ate breakfast, he'd get cereal out with milk. If Mary didn't, she didn't watch him the whole time, he'd probably just stick his finger in there and go, that cereal was far. Yeah. He'd put it back down. <laughs> He can do anything he wants to. Yeah. Thank God for what he did. Yeah, he gave his life for me. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank yes. God. Thank you, Jesus. Here's where his body matured. Yes. Amen. Here is where his spirit waited on him. Yes. yes. Nazareth. He was known as Jesus. The son of Joseph. And he had a reputation there. Mm -hmm. Good with his hands. Many friends. Love children. Mm -hmm. Do you want to stay? Mm -hmm. No. I can do nothing without him. Right. His heart would not let him stay. That's right. He heard the voices. He heard the cries of the people trying to save their self. Mm -hmm. And in that little carpenter shop was the Savior. That's right. He saw them, their faces. He, he seen the blank looks in their faces. He seen the warp, the, the warped minds that the devil had messed with. Yeah. And then he heard my voice. Say, hey, please come in my heart. Amen. Save me. Yes, amen. You need a Savior. He saw you. <clears throat> then you got saved. He could not bear leaving his people that he needed help. Yeah. So he went on the road and preached the gospel. Listen, I'm not sure what you believe. There's only one gospel that came Amen. from one man. That's right. He gave his life for me. Yes, he, did. Amen. Yeah. he died a horrible death for me. Yeah. He the Bible says they looked down at himself when they were whipping him and they seen his bones shine up to him. Yeah. 
Yeah. A regular man would have died. Mm -hmm. He had to had everything going for him because the spirit was so strong. Yeah. They say that he died of a broken heart. Right. It, it, it says that his blood became a great drop of his sweat became a great drop of blood. Yeah. And you can talk to the doctor about that. His day that his heart busted. The devil was trying to kill him before he got to Calvary. Yeah. But it didn't happen. And he said, Lord, be your will. Take this from me. Yes, he did. And then God didn't take it. Right. So he went to the cross. Yeah. I'll tell you something. I hadn't done it in a long time. It used to, I would go back to Sweet Home Baptist Church. And I'd like to go when there wasn't nobody there. Yes. Just me. I sat down on that fifth row over here. On that side of the church. <coughs> and I can remember what the preacher said, but I didn't remember all of it because the Holy Spirit was the only one strong I couldn't hear. <laughs> uh, and I'd get up, come down to the altar. Amen. And I remember. Mm -hmm. Do you remember? Yes, oh. thank God. Amen. Yes. Amen. Do you remember what he did for you? Hallelujah. When I get up ill in the morning, and God tells me, what you say ill about? Mm -hmm. I saved your life. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. I saved right. your soul. That's right. right. Amen. I can't stand it when I hear people, I'm running a rabbit now. French rabbit. Right. I can't stand when I hear some people say, you don't know how tired I am. Mm. I can't come to church, I'm too tired. Mm. Preach, brother. I've worked all week, and I definitely got to mow my yard because I got to be like a man. Mm. Yeah. Maybe I'll see you about next month. I got worries about those people. That's right. Because we're the savior of the world. Save me. Yeah. I got a desire in my heart. Right. That's right. To be with his people. Amen. Amen. That's right. Yeah, I told you a story. I was down at the store below my house one day. This man came in. I said, Hey, brother, you need to come to church sometime. He, he said, Come here. He walked outside with me. He said, You see all this out here? I said, Yeah, I see it. He said, Well, that's my church. I said, well, I'll tell you what to do. When you die in the hospital, you call that tree over there. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It didn't have anything to say. Yeah. yeah, that's right. But Jesus went back one more time. Yeah. Amen. Then he faced all hell on earth. Yes, he did. Right. Mm. Jesus loves you. Amen. I don't know what you got in your life. I do know one thing. He knows. Yes. Amen. Yes, he does. He's got an answer. Yes, he does. How do you stand with him today? Do you know him? Have you ever forgot about him? Maybe you're not serving him like you should. We're here at home, Kevin. God's been gracious. Amen. Yes. I've seen people come in this church and try to split the thing. And God stop it. I've seen people come in. Let me tell you, God made a way for us to get this church. Because I know it is because we kept talking to the man that Talk about buying it. He told me he said there's already two other groups of people in the Bible church. First of all, y'all want to make a fish out of that. Boy, that'd be a sorrowful day to sell a church and a restaurant. Amen. And then the PTL club wanted to buy it. 
for a rhino. But God gave us this church. Amen. Yes. I thank everybody that's part of it. Amen. Thank you, you got a good pastor. He knows the word. I praise God that he's here. And you need to hold his hands up. Because that's probably getting in his way. That'd be all right. He needs a good champ. Amen. <laughs> He's going to try to straighten me out, and I'm going to tell him a joke. Amen. Now, he's a good man. Glad to our pastor. How do you stand with God? We're going to go down here and eat in just a minute. So, right now, we've got important things to talk about. Amen. That's right, brother. Yes, we do. With every head bowed and every eye closed. Would you stand your feet for me? Because <coughs> I got something important to ask you. Quit this play. Do you know that you know that you know we you spend eternity here? Yes, you can know. Can't nobody put you out of God's hand. There's only one sin sent a person to hell. That's the sin of rejecting Jesus Christ. Let me ask you this. Do you know you're saved? With nobody looking around. Preacher, I'm uh, Born again Christian, I know that I know that I know. If I die right now, heaven will be my home. Would you brag on God and slip your hand up? I know I'm saved. Maybe you couldn't do that. There's not no almost saved. There's not no waiting to later. The days of their salvation. I told a man one time, he said, When do you get saved? I said, the last day of your life. He said, well, I don't know when that is. I said, we need to get saved today. Then. Preacher, I'm not totally sure I'm saved. Would you pray for me? I won't come to you. I won't embarrass you. I'd like to know who you are, so I'd pray for you. Preacher, pray for me. Would you slip your hand up and say, Preacher, pray for me. Anybody in the room? Anybody? Thank you. Let me tell you something. You've got an opportunity now. You've already done the hard thing. You've admitted you need help. And we're asking you now, if you'll come, we'll meet you up here. We have five minutes you spend turning to the Savior. As Christina plays, please. <laughs>
me and a friend of mine went visiting houses back in the church one evening. And it was a set of twins. Two boys about 20 years old. And we knew the plan of salvation. Well, one of them accepted Jesus. And the other one said, I'm too young. I've got plenty of time. I got a phone call the next day. The one that did not accept Jesus got hit on Highway 52 coming out of a beer storm. And it killed him instantly. Mm -hmm. Thank God the other one asked Jesus in his life. He thought he had plenty of time. He had one day. I said, what we're going to do? I'm going to tell you how easy it is to get saved. You don't need me. This church will not save you. That Jesus we. Amen. Amen. That's right. We're going to pray the sinner's prayer. And if we pray the sinner's prayer, if you're not saved, all you have to do is pray that prayer and mean it with your heart. I'm not talking about praying and get saved three or four times, but I'm talking about for the very first time. You can be saved. If I'm a scripture right now. The Bible says, if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart, God has raised him from the dead. You shall be saved. Yeah. Amen. So, if you never prayed this prayer, it's the word. and you pray it with me, ask Him in your heart, you'll be just the same as I am. Pray with me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You died for me. You died for me. Now, forgive me of my sin. Yes. Come into my heart. Save me. Thank you. Thank you. For my home in heaven. In Jesus' name. Before we finish the prayer, did you pray that prayer for the very first time? And if you did, you can say, I'm a Christian. Because it came into your heart. Now, it's so good. To know that you got a savior now, so you need to tell somebody. You need to let them know. Because it says in Romans 10 9, that thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thy heart God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Yes. Amen. For with the heart, man is believing. But with the mouth, confession is made. Amen, that's right. 13 verse, 13 verse, Romans 10. It says, For Whosoever right. shall believe on him shall be saved. You put your name there. I do not want you to do something that helps you. You pray that prayer. You ask Jesus in your heart. Will you slip your hand up? Say, I know I'm saved now. Anybody. We will see one back door in the back. Anybody else? Thank you, Lord. You've been so good to us. Father, I'm so unworthy. 
this guy. I was like, yeah, I don't deserve your grace. He gave me only son. The greatest sacrifice that ever had me. Lord, I couldn't give my son for an old drunk, an old drug addict. But you did. Yes. And Father, we praise you right now for the decision's been made. Let them know that they got a Savior yes, God. in their heart now. Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. I'm going to turn it back over to your pastor. Amen. Praise the Lord. I love you, brother. Amen. Great message. Amen. Did you enjoy that? Say amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. All right. God is so good. Amen. What a wonderful time in the Lord we've had. Amen. <coughs> Praise the Lord. Let me just say uh, just a few things. Uh, I think some of the ladies have stepped out to prepare the food. So I tell you what, let's do. Let's make sure the enlighteners, uh, let's make sure they at the front of the line. Amen. And uh, before we leave. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Miss, uh, Miss Frankie, uh, she wants to be anointed. So let's do that right quick. Amen. Let's do that uh, before we go any further. Amen. All right. If I can get my the deacons and the preachers to come and uh, let's do this. Amen. Brother Rogers got the scripture for us. Amen. The Bible says there's any among you afflicted let him pray. Any merry, let him sing songs. If any sick among you, let him call for the elders of the church. Let them pray over him, anointing him uh, with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. If they have committed sin, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another. Pray one for another that you may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Amen. 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 Let's pray. Thank you. Yes, Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for Sister Frankie Gilbert. Lord, thank you for her faith, God. God, we know that, Father, our faith saves us, our faith heals us, Father. We thank you that, God, you're the great physician, Lord. And God, we honor her faith, God, and we honor all the faith that's gathered around her. God, you said whether two or three together. And God, Father, agreeing on one thing, God, touching that thing, that God, you would do it in the midst. And God, we're praying. In Jesus' name, right now, touch me. And God, I pray that you Father, you know whatever it is, Father. God, I find the enemy and all the forces of the Lord, Father, against this situation. And Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you for everything you do, God. Thank you for what you're going to do in her life. We're going to see great mighty things, God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. We stand upon the faith of God. Praise you, Lord, for Jesus. Darling Lamb of God. Yes, God. We ask you in his most precious and glorious name, Father. Thank you for what you're going to do. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. God. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Okay, if I uh, let me have, can I get the mm -hmm. ushers up here, the two ushers, if you will? And uh, uh, Sister Frankie and Don is a blessing to us. And uh, we want to take a love offering up for them. Amen. So you enjoyed it. Uh, and uh, let's uh, let's give to the Lord, and uh, we're giving to them. And uh, and I know that uh, that God will bless you richly for this. Amen. All right. uh, they'll pray for this. Amen. Lord, we thank you for these dear sisters. Lord, for the work they do in your name. Lord, we pray God that you just continue to touch them. Lord, heal them daily. God, just keep them focused upon you. Lord, we praise you and thank you for all that you do. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Praise God. All right. While we're while we're doing that, let me just give you a few things. Come on, preacher. You got something? Amen. Okay. Come on. Amen. I said let's do this in a hurry, but I didn't mean that. Amen. It's all God's time, Sister Frankie. Thank you for your faith. 
in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And we know that uh, He's the great physician. Amen. God can heal and God can touch. And I thank God for the faith that was gathered around her. Amen. Amen. I thank God for that. Amen. All right, brother. Yes, Miss Wanda. Amen. We sure will. Sister. Wanda just asked the Lord into her heart. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Give the Lord a hand, praise. Amen. 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 So, bring them back. Amen. <laughs> Welcome to the family of God, Wanda. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So you, uh, uh, so you be sure and shake her hand and. Um, and uh, welcome her into the family of God. Amen. All right, deacons, if y'all will come and let's uh, let's uh, anoint uh, Sister Wanda. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Brother Roger, you got that scripture again? Amen. <laughs> The Bible says, is any among you afflicted, let him uh, pray. Is any merry, let him sing psalms. Yes. Any sick among you, let him call for the elders of the church. And let them pray over him and anoint him in the, uh, with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. Mm -hmm. If you have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Hallelujah. Confess your faults one to another. Pray one for another that you may be healed. Amen. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Amen. Yes, let's pray. Father, we come, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father God, in that name, Father, there's no other name given among all, uh, in the name of Jesus, Father God, the greatest name of the earth, Father, thank you for that, God, we pray for Wanda, thank you for her decision to accept you, Father, thank you that now she's a child of God, Father, we thank you for that. God, we thank you for what you're going to do in her life, God. And I pray, God, now for uh, this uh, thing that she's come to be anointed with. Lord, you know every situation in her life, and you know what it is. I thank you for her faith. God, you said the prayer of the faith shall save the sick, Lord. And God, uh, I thank you for what you're going to do in her life. Thank you for these ones that are gathered around her today, God. Thank you for our church, God. Thank you, Lord. We love you. Father, most of all, thank you, Lord, that she's now in the family of God. Lord, we thank you for that. And Lord, I, I praise you and thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. I love that song. He's still working on me. Amen. Praise the Lord. He will until the day I leave. Amen. Maybe you're here and uh, you didn't make that decision and you need Jesus. We're going to be here. Would you grab me or the preacher by the coat and say, will you pray for me? We'll do it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, what a great day. Amen. It's been in the Lord. Amen. Um, let me just say that um, <clears throat> let's, let's make sure the enlighteners, uh, let's make sure they get to the front of the line. Amen. And and their drivers, the, the brother and sister that's with them, and then um, our visitors. Amen. And let's make sure that they get next to them. Amen. And then... Our older ones, let's make sure they're next, amen. Us young turkeys, we can wait till, till last, amen, can we? Praise the Lord, amen. Let me just say by uh, announcement, no evening service tonight. Uh, so we're just going to uh, take time and just going to reflect on what God is doing in our lives. So, so uh, uh, no evening service. Uh, so you spend it with family. Everybody, you want to do it. Angela probably had me working or something. Amen. You can't, you got to put something in her ear and talk to her about that. Amen. But I said, this is the Lord's day. Amen. But uh, thank you, preacher. Amen. Thank you for the wonderful message. You enjoyed that? Say amen. 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 Yep. Um, the Bible says that uh, he was 100% man, but he was also 100% God. What a powerful message. Thank you for that. Amen. Uh, thank you, choir, uh, for singing. Thank you. Thank you for the enlighteners. 
and what a joyful. I seen some buckets of chicken down there, amen. So, uh, and uh, boy, they some, it was smelling good, amen. And some cakes and uh, some puddings, amen. How I many is going to stay for our dinner, amen? I hope everybody's at 100%. Please stay. Don't miss that, amen? Because uh, I don't want to have to eat your share, amen? <laughs> I will. But uh, it's for our visitors. It's for everybody. Uh, thank you for our pastor. Thank you, Miss Cindy, uh, for our preacher's wife. Uh, many, uh, many hours of labor, of love that they've, that they've uh, spent at this church. And I, I'm glad the doors are still open, amen. And I'm glad God's still saving, amen. And as long as God gives me breath, amen, I'll preach thus saith the Lord, amen. And I'm, I'm just excited to see God do other great things here, amen. And uh, most of all, I'm excited to be a part of a church where I got saved at, amen. And right down here, amen, was where I came and knelt one Saturday night and asked Jesus to save me. And now he called me back here some seven, eight years ago to help preacher uh, Clinton and now the pastor, amen. Uh, boy, I tell you what, God's good, amen. So I'm, I'm just excited about what God's doing. I'm excited about what God's doing in your life, amen. And uh, good to see some of our older members back and good to see you. And I'm looking forward to fellowship with you over a piece of chicken, amen, Roger. We appreciate this, and sometimes it gets to be overlooked. Buddy and Michelle and our great deacon board and uh, all the helpers in the church, you know who you are. Yes. The plan crew down, the prayers and everything else. We appreciate every one of you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Don't the grounds look good? Amen. Give the Lord a hand, praise. Amen. Thank the Lord for our leaders. Uh, thank God for uh, Michelle. I tell you what, she just works endlessly behind the scenes. Amen. And uh, we just thank God for her and uh, for what she does. And I'm not going to leave anybody out, but you know, uh, you come and planted a bush or whatever you did, uh, spread mulch, you know, and we appreciate it. And God's going to have a reward for you one day in heaven. Amen. So I'm excited about that. Okay, so let's come back uh, Wednesday night. will be our next time we'll meet the King's Kids. We're in the book of Revelations on Wednesday night, so you don't want to miss that. I'm praying that I get to stay there. And uh, so, and uh, that's a good study. So let's just pray that the Lord will let me just continue in the book of Revelations. And then uh, we're just excited about what God's doing. Anything else? Next Sunday, I think, I'm checking the ship. I think we'll start having our work day for Vacation Bible School Sunday okay. afternoon instead of Friday. And uh, possibly we'll have our Gideon next Sunday. So they haven't contacted me yet. So uh, let's pray about that. Pray about what we can give as an offering to the Gideons as well. Amen. All right. So we're going to bless the food and everything. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and bless the food. And uh, just remember that. Yeah, we want the <laughs> Yeah. Amen. So. Amen. We're going to make sure Frankie's got some chicken. She doesn't know she needs chicken. Yeah. That, I seen two buckets down there. I know there might be more. Amen. All right, let's go to the Lord in prayer and bless the food. And uh, thank you, and we love you. Brother Donald, will you uh, take us to the Lord in prayer? Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for this little message we heard from Lord. Thank you for all the saved, Lord. Thank you for touching our hearts, Lord. Thank you for everyone who got saved, Lord. Yes, God. Praise your name, Jesus. I just want to ask you to bless this food, Lord, as we go down and fellowship. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Shake hands with one another. Amen.